Bristol Bay, Alaska, near Togiak. The herring season could close in as little as 72 hours. But on the infinite glory, there's an even tighter deadline. The skipper returns today, and young Dan needs to get on the scoreboard. Oh, well, we got the time bandit running with us over here. Heading to the grounds, probably to pump some fish. So. Yeah, yeah, for the glory time bandit. What's up? Captain Jonathan calls the young skipper over. Hi, Dan. What's up? Give the old kid the old pep talk. I'm rooting for you, man. We just got back out here. We had to stack the net back, but a big twist in it. And... My first year, I ripped my lead line all the way off. My whole sand went under the water, smoking. We're doing like three knots. Started popping back up, no lead line or nothing. I threw my anchor out, and when I got the net aboard, I pulled the anchor, and the, the, the breast of the lead line, everything was on the anchor. Got lucky, I sewed it back together, I got 60 tons the next day. I know your pain. <laughs> it's not, anybody can set a sand, but it's hard to get them back. You look good, man. Look like you know what you're doing. You don't need the old man to come back. I don't know about that. Yeah, good luck, guys, man. I'm rooting for you. You got it, man. Seven days and zero fish. This is Danny's last shot at redemption. We just have to be patient here. What's going on here? There's waves of fish that are coming around into this beach west of the whale beach. And that's what we're waiting for here. The pilot just saw some fish uh, kind of heading towards this bay we're in, so we're going to go scope it out here. We're going to hit the Pacific. Flipping out back here, salivating. Go ahead, real fast there now. He's coming left. Deckhand Matt encircles the school with the net. Once closed, the first line is pulled up from the bottom of the net into the boat, wrapping the webbing around the school of fish. Unlike gill netters, seiners hold the fish in the water until the tender can offload them. A quick test shows they've got herring with prime row. Gold mine right here. A lot of females, good row percentage. One about 10% row recovery before we'll take them. Looks like we got well over that, so they're looking good. All right, guys, just talk to the tender. Get my first load pumped off a herring 09. Toby yeah. yeah, buddy. Huh? It took a few tries, but this time they nailed it. The first set of the season. Dude. Sweet, the kid came through. Yeah, after not catching anything, finally wrapped up some fish here and uh, everything went smoothly and 
kind of brought the Infinite Glory back up to its name, so I'm stoked on it. Yeah. I think all the tenors are at capacity, so he's, he's, he just completes this last one. He's a lucky <laughs> Just hours after the Infinite Glory and stand-in skipper Danny made their first successful set, Captain Tom Stafford returns. All right, did you catch any fish while he's gone? Just right before he got home. By home, I mean here. After his rocky start, Dan's happy to pass the helm back to Dad. Uh, it was a little rough, but I'm glad you're back. Caught some fish, 70 tons right before you got back. Glad to get that after messing up, so. He had some problems, but worked through them and uh, ended up catching a few fish out of the deal. It was actually good to see him mature into a skipper's position. And uh, I think he did a really good job, so I was pretty proud of him. The spotter pilot radios Tom. Oh, yeah, it does look impressive. There's good fish in the shallows. Okay, you ready, Dan? Setting this close to shore takes the skill of a veteran. Dad will just set wherever and scrape them off the rocks. It doesn't matter. He can get them wherever they are. So he's just good, I guess. This is what we live for as fishermen. Nice, beautiful day, and the fish just pouring down the beach. That's how it's done, right there. 